Hello there, I'm Ethan, the head of support at OpenTrans. This is the sixth video in a series we are calling From Box to Protocol. In our previous video, I completed the deck calibration. So let's get started with the tip length calibration on the OT2. For the tip length and pipette offset calibration, I will need the calibration block, the tip racks for my two pipettes, which I have the P20 multi on and the P1000 single channel. I'll also need my computer and of course the OT2. The pipettes are already attached to the OT2 and I did that in a previous video. Tip length calibration accounts for how a tip fits on the nozzle of a specific physical pipette. Once this is calibrated, the OT2 knows how far up or down to move the pipette when it's running your protocol so that the tip is positioned at the correct height. Tip length calibration doesn't account for differences between individual tips. The OT2 assumes that each tip has a consistent length with other tips of the same model. To initiate this calibration, I will navigate to the Devices tab in the OpenTrans app, select the device I want to calibrate. Since I haven't calibrated the pipette offset calibration or tip length calibration yet, there is a banner asking me to do so. I will click calibrate now. So when you first calibrate the tip length and pipette offset, the robot will ask you if you want to use the calibration block. If you don't have a calibration block, you can always use a trash can. But since I have a calibration block, I'm going to use that. I'm also going to click remember my selection for next time so it doesn't ask me again. I will continue with the calibration block. The OT2 will now home and prepare itself for the calibration. I will need a tip rack, preferably open trons, and a calibration block for this calibration. I have both, so let's start tip length calibration. The OpenTrans app will walk me through the instructions to calibrate the tip length. I need to set the two pieces of labware, calibration block, and the tip rack on the deck as shown in the app. The pipette moves to the calibration block to measure the nozzle's Z-axis, and I'll need to jog the pipette down to make sure the nozzle is less than 0.1 millimeters away from the block. The nozzle is less than 0.1 millimeters away from the calibration block, so I will save this calibration. The pipette will move to tip A1 in the tip rack to pick up a tip. I need to jog the pipette to make sure the pipette nozzle is aligned according to the animation in the app. The nozzle is aligned, so I'm going to have the pipette pick up the tip. My pipette was able to pick up the tip, so I will click yes, move to measure tip length button. The pipette will move back to the calibration block to measure the tip length. I need to jog the pipette a small amount to make sure that it is less than 0.1 millimeters away from the block. The nozzle is 0.1 millimeters away from the block. Now I will save the tip length. I will remove the calibration block to continue with the pipette offset calibration. Pipette offset calibration compensates for the distance between the two pipettes based on the manufacturing variation of the OT2 and pipettes. Each pipette has its own pipette offset that I need to calibrate to ensure the highest accuracy. The OT2 already has a tip attached, so it will use that for the calibration process. The app will walk me through the calibration for each pipette. The pipette will now go through a similar process to the deck calibration, first moving to the slot five to measure the Z axis and I'll jog it so the pipette is less than 0.1 millimeters from the deck. The Z axis location is less than 0.1 millimeters from the deck, 
So I will save this calibration and the pipette will move to the cross in slot one. Similar to the deck calibration, I will need to align the pipette so that the end of the tip is in the middle of the cross in slot one. Mine is slightly off, so I will jog the pipette so that it is aligned. I align the pipette with the cross and can now save the calibration. When the check mark and a pipette offset complete message appears, the calibration is complete. I will have the pipette return the tip to the tip rack and we will continue to the other mount. OT2 will home now. So the tip length calibration and pipette offset calibration are now complete for the P20 on the left mount. I'm going to do the same process with the pipette on the right mount, which was the P1000. First, I am going to take the 20 microliter tip rack off the deck and set it aside. And I will now initiate the tip length and pipette offset calibration on the right mount. So again, once I'm in the devices page, because I haven't calibrated the right mount before, there's a banner saying I need to calibrate it now. So I'll click calibrate now. The app will tell me what I need for the tip length and pipette offset calibration. Same as last time, I need the tip rack associated with the pipette. In this case, it's the 1000 microliter tip rack and I'll need the calibration block. I have both, so I'll start tip length calibration. This time, I need to place the calibration block in slot one with the tall side on the right side. Then I need to place the tip rack in slot eight, and as always, take the top off. Tip rack's in slot eight, calibration block is in slot one, so we can now confirm placement and continue with the calibration. The P1000 pipette will lower to the calibration block. And just like the previous pipette, I need to jog it down so that the nozzle is barely touching the calibration block. The pipette is barely touching the calibration block. It's less than 0.1 millimeters away. I will save this nozzle Z axis and move on to picking up a tip. I now need to position the pipette so it is centered in tip A1. The pipette nozzle is now centered in tip A1 and it is even with the top of the tip. I'm going to have the pipette pick up that tip now. The app asked me if the pipette was able to pick up the tip it did it successfully, so I will say yes and move to measure tip length. We will move to the calibration block in slot one, and I will jog it so that the tip is barely touching the calibration block. Great, so it is now barely touching the calibration block, less than 0.1 millimeters from it, so I will save this tip length now. We know the tip length calibration is complete because there's a check mark on the app. I will now need to remove the calibration block from the deck and continue on with the pipette offset calibration. So I'll select continue on with pipette offset calibration. Just like deck calibration and the previous pipette offset calibration, I need to lower it, the pipette so it is less than 0.1 millimeters from the deck in slot five. The tip is barely touching the deck now. It's less than 0.1 millimeters from the deck in slot five. I will save this calibration and the pipette will move to slot one near the cross. I now need to jog the robot until the tip is centered in the cross in slot one. So the tip is precisely centered over the cross in slot one. I'm now able to save this calibration. 
I know pipette offset calibration is complete because there's a check mark on the screen. I will now have the pipette return the tip to the tip rack and exit the calibration. The OT2 will home now. Tip length and pipette offset calibration are now complete. I'm going to stop the video here before going on to running a protocol. Thanks for checking out the sixth video in our From Box to Protocol series. Now that I've calibrated the tip length and pipette offset, we are going to move on to actually running a protocol. Thanks for checking out the video and bye for now.